El Salvador is a developing country in Central America with over 6 million citizens. It's largely cash-based as over 70% of the citizens do not have a bank account or a credit card. A large chunk of the population live in the United States and they send back money to their family in El Salvador called remittances. In the current financial model, over 10% of the value of these remittances are levied fees and it takes days to transfer because of intermediaries. In a Bitcoin solution, it will be a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the time. Quick note on corruption, the current model is corrupt. Finally, those who look at Bitcoin and crypto as only an investment, remember Bitcoin was created by the people for the people, and this is the true intent. No more paying tax? Well, that's kind of the situation in El Salvador, because if El Salvador actually go ahead and accept Bitcoin as legal tender, then citizens will not have to pay any capital gains tax. Crypto holders, check this out. What you're about to see is a clip of a Bitcoin lightning transaction. And this happened yesterday at a Starbucks in, of course, El Salvador. Also, shout out to El Salvador because we know they bought another 150 Bitcoin during the dip yesterday. Question is, did you take advantage and do the same? I want to go home, please. Why do you want to go home, Jane? Are you on drugs? Are you fucking on drugs? Why do I want to go home? El Salvador, along with a lot of other countries, have been exploited by the IMF and the World Bank into getting predatory loans which have stipulations like they can't raise their minimum wage, they can't use their resources for their own people, etc., etc. And they've just been helpless because the IMF and the World Bank are that powerful. But look at this tweet, y'all. It appears the discount is ending because Bitcoin's price is going back up. Thanks for the dip, IMF News. We saved a million in printed paper. They're literally saying, f you to the IMF. El Salvador has gotten off to a rocky start with its digital wallet having some technical problems and the crypto market and Bitcoin had a major correction last night. So it's confusing times, but El Salvador still bought 550 Bitcoin. And this is why I say, don't panic sell. Hold on tight. If you really believe in crypto for the long term, hold on tight. It's never nice to log into your portfolio and see that you're down tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars or whatever you had in. For me, I'm holding tight as always. I believe in this in the long run and now governments are taking it seriously. We've got El Salvador and recently Panama introduced its own Bitcoin legislation. So my advice, if you're going to be in the crypto game, you got to be strong. This stuff will happen. It's a volatile market. I'll see you on the other side. So El Salvador announced that they will make Bitcoin their official tender, which is huge for the community as a whole. Some are even suggesting that we should move there. But with El Salvador being one of the most dangerous countries in the world and extortion being one of the number one crimes, I don't think I would move there. But let me know, would you move there?